half million Americans are expected to die this year from cancer, equal to five jumbo jets crashing every day. The number of Americans who die from cancer each year is more than all those who have died in all U.S. wars combined, and this happens every single year. After a cancer diagnosis, people tend to clean up their diets. Uh, about a third to a half of breast cancer patients, for example, make healthy dietary changes following diagnosis, such as increasing fruit and vegetable consumption, decreasing meat, fat, and sugar intakes. Does this actually help that late in the game? Well, the Women's Healthy Eating and Living study was undertaken a few thousand breast cancer survivors uh, to determine if a plant-based, low-fat, high-fiber diet could influence breast cancer recurrence rates and survival. Previously, they famously reported that simple changes— five or more servings of fruits and veggies a day, and just like walking 30 minutes a day, six days a week— was associated with a significant survival advantage, cutting risk nearly in half. Note I said fruits and veggies and exercise. Here's the proportion of women with breast cancer surviving nine years in the study if they had low fruit and vegetable consumption and low physical activity, or high in one and low in the other. But here's the survival curve of those high in both. And it worked just as well in women with estrogen receptor negative tumors, which normally have twice the mortality. Unless you eat a few fruits and veggies and take a few strolls. The high should really be in quotes. I mean, you could eat five servings in a single meal, and certainly walk more than like two miles a day. Imagine for a second you have been diagnosed with breast cancer. Imagine sitting in that chair in the doctor's office as your doctor gives you the news. But there's a new experimental treatment that can cut your chances of dying in the next few years from like 16% down to just 4%. To quadruple their survival rate, many women would remortgage their homes to fly to some quack clinic in Mexico, would, would lose all their hair to chemo, but most apparently couldn't stand the thought of eating broccoli. And indeed, that's what the latest report from the Women's Healthy Eating and Living study found. Fruits and vegetables may be good, but cruciferous vegetables may be better. For women on tamoxifen, tamoxifen for example, if one of their five daily servings of fruits and veggies was broccoli or cauliflower, collards, cabbage, or kale, the risk of cancer recurrence may be cut in half. 